our shallots are pushing themselves out of the ground, clearly ready to be harvested. Now there's several typical signs that shallots are ready to harvest. What you want to look for is the foliage to start to turn yellow and fall over towards the ground like we have here. Um, the other thing is to look at the bulbs themselves because shallots are planted so close to the soil surface you can actually see as the bulbs begin to form. Um, now this might happen very late in maturity, very close to the time of harvest. So don't worry if you're watching your shallots and they haven't bulbed out yet, they will. Um, if you're going to be drying your shallots, a good, good idea to just let these be until the foliage is dried out. Um, but if you're ready to harvest them, they're very easy to just simply pull out by hand. Uh, if you have a real heavy soil, you might just use a fork to get them up. And I like to go ahead and shake or brush the soil off of these. We're going to let them cure um, in a warm, dry place and then we could store them in a mesh sack. Uh, another thing is you're harvesting them, you might find uh, some of the smallest ones and set those aside to replant in your garden in the fall so that you have a fresh uh, harvest for next season. So hold a little bit back and replant those. Now our garlic is also ready to harvest. Garlic is harvested in a similar manner as our shallots and Again, we want to look for the yellowing of the foliage as we have here to indicate the garlic is ready to harvest. And when we harvest garlic, uh, we can either pull it out of the ground or use a fork, um, but we want to make sure to keep the foliage intact, uh, harvest the entire plant um, because we're going to leave that intact as we cure them. And uh, we can cure them in a number of ways. We can just lay them out uh, individually or you can braid the stems together and hang them up. Now you'll notice that we have flower heads on our garlic and these are called scapes. Normally you would remove these uh, as they develop in uh, June and the developing flower head, the scape, actually makes really good, uh, adds a good garlic flavor to different dishes. So you can stir fry those or cook them in a number of ways. Um, these didn't get removed, that was our error, uh, but it did allow us to show the little seeds that develop up in here. Now you can grow garlic from these seeds, but it's gonna take a really long time. Uh, another option would be to, if you really like garlic flavor, you can just harvest these and add them to your salads. Uh, it's gonna have quite a garlic punch to it, but if, if you're a garlic fan, you'll certainly enjoy that. Now the reason they're removed is because they compete for energy with the bulb. So you see we have some fairly small bulbs uh, because we left those scapes on and that's the reason you want to remove those. So next year we'll pay a little bit more attention to our garlic and make sure to get those scapes off in time. We'll get some bigger bulbs.